Hello again, I'm making a, uh, a short video um, showing you how to get the uh, implied volatility ranking or the um, implied volatility percentage um, on your charts. Uh, you can put it on your graphs, you can put it here in your, uh, in your quote um, table. I have it showing right here. Uh, this is the list of uh, currently the top 10 uh, most active stocks on NASDAQ today. And you can see here is the IV ranking, um, ranging around 70 down to 20. So what is this IV uh, percentile or the IV rank and where does it come from? Well, if you go to the trade tab, um, here is BlackBerry, which happened to be the number one, whoops, sorry, happened to be the number one uh, most active stock for the day on NASDAQ. Uh, here's BlackBerry. Um, here is the uh, option statistics for the day. And I can see right here the third line current IV percentile is 70%. And what that means is for the past year, um, the lowest uh, implied volatility was 0.38 or 38%. And the highest was 1.09 or 109%. And since we are currently at 87% implied volatility, that means we are 70% of the way from the lowest to the highest. Okay, so that's why they call it the percentile, uh, IV percentile or IV rank. Just uh, if it was 50%, we'd be right in between the high and the low. If it was 100%, we'd be at the highest uh, implied volatility for the past year. So that's what that means. So I've added it to my market watch under quotes. IV percentile. How do you get this in here? Very simple. Um, just right click anywhere on this uh, column headings. I have a bunch of custom ones here myself. It doesn't matter. Right click anywhere and click customize. And you can see I have uh, all of my custom ones down there. And here's IV percentile that I've already added in. How did I get that here? I looked for it on the left. I can either scroll down, they're all alphabetical, or I can just start typing it in. It starts IV. Did I do that right? Yep, there it is. Scared me for a minute. So there's IV percentile. I, I highlight it and then click add. Uh, and it's going to add it to the bottom. I already have it, so I'm just going to remove it. And then just place it, move it up or down to where you want it uh, in the columns. It defaults to the end, which would be over on the right. So just move it up until it's where you want it. Uh, and then say OK. And there it is, IV percentile. It's all built in. And this is a yearly um, IV ranking. So that's, uh, that's how you get on this tab. So um, there it is on your trade. You want to get it on your trade? Let's put it on a chart. You can see I have it drawn right here on my chart. This is the actual um, implied volatility. It's not the ranking, um, but you can see here we are very high at the range, right? Here's the, the highest it's been. Um, this goes back to uh, uh, seven, eight months or so. You can see it's very high. Here's the lowest it's been. Okay, how do you get this line on here? Very simple. Let me pull up a clean chart right there. So here's my clean chart. I'm going to click on the, the first little icon here, the Edit Studies button. Okay. And then I'm going to scroll down again to try to find uh, implied volatility. I'm just going to start typing it in. This one's uh, IMP, I believe. Yes. So here it is. Again, go to Add Study. And here it is. Right. It defaults to showing it on the lower, um, in a lower window. I like having it. Um, overlaid with the actual price graph. Um, so I'm just going to um, drag it right up to the top like this and it'll be on the same graph. Uh, and then I'll click here on this, uh, I guess it's a gear or a sprocket, which is for configuring it. And I don't like this bright blue color because I want it to be kind of muted. So I always pick this dull gray in the background. Okay. There you go. And then we'll say okay and okay. And there it is. Uh, if I move my cursor over top of it. You can see it highlights to a, a, a brighter gray. Um, and otherwise, I can still see it, but it doesn't overpower what I have on my graph. And this is a one-year, on a one-year chart. So you can see the highest over here, it uses a left-hand 
uh, scale. Here's the highest it's been. Here's the lowest it's been. We're currently at 70% uh, of the way. So good time to sell uh, premium and not buy. Um, I'm not advocating BlackBerry, but that's just what that ranking means. Um, this left-hand scale, if you don't see the left-hand scale, or if you don't like the left-hand scale, you can just right-click on your study that we added. Make sure it's highlighted. Right-click, and there's the button there. So I can take it off, do it again, add it back on. Okay, so that's two. Let's. What else can we show you? Um, let's show you how to do a scan. Um, using the uh, stock hacker. Okay, so um, I'm, again, I'm going to start with a fresh one. Um, here's stock hacker. Uh, there's a few things you want to notice right off the bat. First, upper left hand corner here load scan, save scan. Uh, this is showing you you can load. Um, here's my personal scans I have previously saved. Um, you can save them using this save scan button and load them up later. So you don't have to rebuild these every single time. Uh, you can go back down to delete, get rid of the ones you were just playing with. You can edit them. Okay, so don't worry about um, having to write these down. Uh, of course, you can write this one down, but um, once you've got the scan the way you want it, you can save it. Okay, the next thing to notice is in the upper right-hand corner is the reset button. Uh, it's a good idea to start your, your scans out from, from clean. Uh, so we'll reset everything, say yes. Uh, that way you don't have some filter on here that's filtering out your results that you don't want. Uh, unless you want to uh, start with a previous scan and just modify it a little bit uh, and save it again as something else. So uh, the default criteria, um, I'm not going to worry about them right now. Uh, I'm, I can either delete these. You can see on the right there's a lot of matches, you know, 8,000 stocks. I can either delete them or just leave them there and don't put any criteria in there. So it, it doesn't even filter anything out. I want to add uh, an applied volatility scan, actually uh, uh, an IV percentile to my scan. That is the IV ranking. OK, so uh, you can see these criteria. You can change these. Um, there's a lot of different choices in there, but no, uh, there's no uh, volatility ranking in there. OK, so. That is built into a study. So we're going to go over here to add study. And I don't know why I lost it. Let me just delete one of these. I, I do have more. Um, the, the filters are there. They just kind of scrolled up. So I'm just going to delete these just so that it doesn't look like I'm hiding something. So there. Okay. So here's the default study. You can see it looks a lot different. Okay. It has um, different inputs. Uh, it has a little question mark here. You can click on there and it tells you what that study does. Okay, so I'm going to change this because I don't want this and I'm going to look down for volatility and IV percentile. That's the one that I want. There it is. Okay, here's your default settings. Um, I don't really care for these default settings. I want something that goes from say 75% um, up to 100%. Okay, and make sure you hit enter after that or click outside the box. So I'm going to run a scan. It's going to check for um, stocks. I'm in the stock hacker with an IV percentile or an IV rank between 75 and 100%, which is at the uh, very top end uh, of their range. So I don't want to check every single stock. Uh, you can see there's thousands of stocks here. I'm going to narrow this down just quickly. Um, you can use personal lists. I'm just going to use a public list, which is the S&P 500. Okay, and so there it is. And then I'm just going to click on the scan button. And it shouldn't take too long. And you can see it found 22 stocks. Did it pretty quickly. And so every one of these stocks showing down here has a um, IV rank or IV percentile above 75%. But uh, I don't even see... Um, IV percentile or IV rank anywhere on here. So it'll run the scan for you. That's fine. But I'm going to have to add it in here as a, uh, a column heading or uh, like a quote like I did on the other page so that I can see it myself because I just I want to know which ones are 100, which ones are 75, etc. So again, I'm going to right click uh, on this column here anywhere on the column headings. Right click and say customize. 
and you can see there's the default column headings. I want IV percentile. So again, I can scroll down or I'll just go up here and type IV. And I don't know why it like hides up here, but there it is. Okay. So, and then I'll click add and there it is. Uh, I don't want it all the way to the right. So I'm just going to highlight it and then move it up. I believe you can also drag and drop it. I'll put it right after the sizzle index and then say, okay. And here's my IV percentile. There it is. And I can click there and sort it. So there's the highest. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, you can also um, sort. You can have it sort automatically um, using studies. Here's an IV percentile study right here and that kind of thing. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, thanks for watching.